You know, anglers assume that more fish, better catch rates. Makes sense. Biologists actually use that same assumption. When we do assessments on the populations, the greater the catch rate with our gears like electrofish and gill nets or trawls, higher catch rate, we assume the fish are more abundant too. That's true as long as catchability stays the same. Anglers know the catchability changes, it changes seasonally. Well, Cornell University researchers recently challenged that assumption of equal catchability using walleye populations in Oneida Lake. And they had some creel surveys during some of the years when they had the population assessments. They tested the relationship. When they compared the average angler catch with the fish abundance, no relationship. Hmm, that challenged the assumption of equal catchability. They looked a little further. They found a strong relationship between angler catch rate and the growth rate of the walleye. When the walleye were growing slow, the catch rates were high. What's the connection? Walleye grow fast when they got plenty of food. In Oneida Lake, yellow perch, white perch, sometimes emerald shiner and shad are the primary foods out there. Fast growing fish have plenty to eat. When they have plenty to eat, they're hard to catch. So an interesting message here for anglers. First off, what happened to that lake that was so hot last year, that bites cold this year? Well, maybe the forage changed, because we know forage changes all the time in the lakes as far as the abundance of the forage goes. Another thing for the anglers, if that lake just isn't producing any walleye, a couple of trips, go find happier hunting grounds. The good news is when you come back, those fish are feeding hard, they're growing fast, and they're gonna be a lot bigger to catch.